Today we have a face-off between two very important but often overlooked organs, the liver and the kidneys. Now I'm guessing you already know a lot about the other vital organs, the heart, the brain, and the lungs. You know where they are, you know what they do, but what do you know about the liver and the kidneys? Let's find out. First up is the liver. The liver has many functions in the body. So today we're going to focus on just a few of the major functions. As we look at the role of the liver, I want you to use your nursing judgment and consider how an alteration in each of these functions would impact the patient and their overall health. First, when we talk about the liver, I want to discuss metabolic detoxification. This is what I call the hazmat team. During this process, drugs, medications, and alcohol, and any toxins that could harm the body are detoxified. Essentially, they are packaged up to prevent damage as they continue on through the bloodstream. Now hang on to that thought because we will come back to that when we compare the function of the liver with the function of the kidneys. Healthy liver function is also important for clotting factor synthesis. The body needs clotting factors to stop bleeding. So an issue with the liver can also increase patient's bleeding risk. This is an important consideration for nurses because we always want to prevent injury to our patients. And patients with increased bleeding risk, we are going to do additional monitoring. So things that we're gonna look for, bruising, visible bleeding, certainly, but also signs of internal bleeding, such as a brain bleed after a fall or a GI bleed. We're going to monitor labs, such as a CBC, and use preventative measures, such as an electric razor for ADLs, rather than a straight razor that could cut the patient and create a bleeding issue. The liver also plays an important role in digestion in a number of different ways. It produces bile that is stored in the gallbladder. It also metabolizes fats, proteins, and carbs, and it stores glycogen, vitamins, and minerals. So there is a lot going on with this powerhouse organ. Next up, we have the kidneys. As we look at the functions of the kidneys, I want you to think about where the kidneys are located in the body and consider that they are connected to the bladder via the ureters. This enables the kidneys to excrete waste out of the body as urine. So a very important function of the kidneys is filtration. The kidneys filter waste out of the blood and out of the body as urine. In addition to filtering waste out of the blood and out of the body as urine, the kidneys are also important for maintaining fluid balance in the body, blood pressure regulation, and acid-base balance. As we talk about the kidneys, there's also some terminology that I want to note here. So the Greek term for kidneys is nephro, and the functional unit of the kidneys are the nephrons that are doing that filtering and that work. The Latin term for kidneys is renal. So you will hear both of these terms. Sometimes you'll hear that word nephro in the diagnosis. Sometimes you'll hear renal. So depending on what the disease process is, I want you to go ahead and make note of that now to know that in both cases, we're talking about the kidneys. So an example there would be in pyelonephritis, we hear the terminology of nephro, and then in renal failure, we would hear renal. Both cases, we're talking about the kidneys. We're gonna jump back to the liver in a second here. So just some terminology with the liver, it's a little bit more direct. We're using either the term liver, such as liver failure or HEPA. Um, an example would be hepatitis. So just to make sure you've got all your terminology straight, that's really important that you know what organ you're talking about when we look at these different disease processes. Now let's wrap up with our final comparison of the kidneys versus the liver. In our battle today, which one will take the title of filter? That would be the kidneys. The kidneys filter waste out of the blood and out of the body as urine. 
And remember, they have that direct access point of the ureters to get the urine to the bladder and excrete it. The liver, on the other hand, is responsible for metabolic detoxification of any toxins that could harm the body. Both certainly are very important and necessary as two of the major vital organs. So what other matchups would you like to see next? Comment below and follow Nurse Prep 101.